Hi, I'm Hannah Steves Kearney with Rebecca Steves Realty, and today I'm talking to you as a licensed advanced drone pilot with our Realty team. I'm going to be giving you tips on drone usage when selling your property. Drone photography is becoming more and more popular as a listing tool for real estate. Drones allow you to take great photographs and video that not only showcase your home or buildings, but also show your area and surrounding neighborhood. However, drone usage also comes with risks. The drones used in real estate are not toys. They occupy the same airspace as planes and helicopters. Misuse and carelessness have caused damage, injury, and lawsuits. If you're offered drone services when you're interviewing for or listing your property, make sure that you follow these four rules as it protects you, your neighbors, and it's the law. When a drone operator comes to your property, you should make sure that they have an advanced pilot license issued by Transport Canada. Make sure that your drone operator has insurance for the operation of their drone. This protects you, the neighbors, the neighbor's car, and your drone operator. The drone operator should not be working alone. It is the law that someone have eyes on the drone at all times. With real estate photography, you need to make sure that your shots are lined up to get the best view of the property. This means taking your eyes off the drone and looking at the screen. A licensed drone pilot will know that they need a second set of eyes that do not leave the drone. It has happened to me on multiple occasions that flocks of birds have flown out of the trees and attacked my drone. If I hadn't had a second set of eyes, I wouldn't have been aware of them and known to make evasive maneuvers. Finally, make sure your pilot has a flight plan. We live in an area with several different classes of airspace, between the RCMP helipads, the no-fly zone in and around Oromocto, and all the small airfields, there are a lot of places in Fredericton and surrounding areas that have special rules. In some cases, special permission is needed to fly. I hope you've enjoyed these tips on how to safely have a drone operated on your property. For more information, feel free to reach out to me. And if you are offered drone services with your listing, make sure that these rules are followed. Thanks for watching.